not sure if Heretics have seen something they don't like, but Avova and Lowell kind of hesitating a little bit around mid. Doma now just needs to hold contact on market. Wall does go down. Lowell's managed to block off that market angle. I like that. Mo's going to find Pora, so that's going to at least make them feel a little secure. But the response is to play up short. Nukes found Mystic, so that puts Chak under pressure. It's going to put all the other players trying to get over under pressure, but they're holding. Heretics want more, and they're going to find more, but not in the way they fancied. Nukes has got him being caught off guard as Doma does left. find a bit of safety. Falls away, no spike plant yet, no need to over push on this. Well, actually, Mo's going to find another kill elsewhere. So just two members of Heretics left now. Of over, he's going to TP off to the top of Jen. He's going to find Doma. What? Niso finds Jack as well. This is a 4v2, and now the two players remaining are from the same area. Boaster and Mo are both on short. Now the plant comes in. is going to be on that, and it's going to be Avova Five watching and waiting, anticipating for the play, but didn't expect both to come through from short. Avova, a quick adjustment. Spots one. That's Boaster now tagged up, but you can see it all being thrown in. Has to swing, and Mo's there. Great retake from Summon FC. That could have gone dangerous. You do not want to lose 2v4s. That could be a tilt factor. They kept control. They Lean towards B. No Already way. ultimate popped. Make it two. Here we go. Boaster's in danger. Gotta be careful. He just soaks that. And that's gonna be a problem now. Mo is so isolated, so alone. No support on the way. Can Mo do anything? Yes, he can! Mo somehow is bailing them out. Spins around on a dime and still gets a Vova. But now the spike is gonna be planted. It's a 3v3 for now. Yeah, spike Mo goes planted. absolutely huge finding those two, making it all but possible once again for someone to pull off this retake. Damn it. Let's get the crack in the wall here, and all three are going to stack up. Again, worried about that B main presence, but all these players stacked up. Lowell actually finds the wall bang onto Mystic. Yeah, Jack now has to be thrown into this one. He knows the time is ticking. Poor is not going to let them get a step forward, and it's shut down. Heretics, hold. very nice post plant. And now we've seen the two looks. A couple of ultimates on the board as well. Recon Bolt going to go all the way above tree. Won't reveal anything, I don't think, but... Much heavier on. There's a lot of utility down on the entry here, but poor actually finds Doma on the way in chat now. Holding onto this tree area. He's got it back up. Nuki actually finds Mystic behind him. Yeah, two free picks, no trades, barely any damage done. This is looking gorgeous for Heretics. They'll be very happy on this take. And with that up in play, you really have to consider your options. An incredibly expensive investment. Yep. You don't want to lose that, and they are very tricky to make work on retakes unless you're Wardell. Look, well, the amount of times that. I'm like, look, <laughs> classically, you know, in other games, you just don't see them going for it because, you know, it's really hard to make work, and then Wardell's like, watch me. So, you know, yeah. I've learned my lesson, but for now, someone would probably like to keep hold of these guns, if anything. Boaster going down is actually a big problem. That's the operator. Yeah. yeah. Chat finds Nuki in mid. Mo actually finds Pora top mid as well, but now just want to back out and hold on to this again. <sighs> Economy-wise... This is uh, it's going to be a tough fight to buy back into this. I want to, and Niso finding Mo is not going to make it any easier, that's for sure. Looks like Jack's going to be able to hold on to his at least. Yeah, I want to see tactical timeouts are available in best of five series. Just because oh, for Summon, a 6-1 scoreline is very drastic, but it looks like early aggression is going to be called into play, but if Ova's off angle, could be a disaster. That's Go. one. I thought the second could have come through, but no. Mo denies it, and Nuki is there. It is going to be traded back Take through flight. to a 3v3. So still, look at this. Where is the rest of the play going to come from? Mo still wants the information, not allowing no, no, any re-aggress no. from the Heretic side. And you can see all this investment. Boaster, he's pushing this one. That is bold and maybe a bit of a waste here, but yeah, called off guard, that's a bit of a shame. They've retaken the territory, and they've shown why they play this passive hold. Summon, it's if you're so not going to commit all the way, you're going to get caught up. Bad plan, but Mystic is the one going to be charged with dealing with this, as you can see the Killjoy peeling away in the background. And oh, gosh, the accuracy is just filthy for Nuki, and he wants more as well. Doma's in trouble, but Doma deals with it. And we're looking towards him to get that performance building because we know he is a game changer. But that was all a fake. The spike is still going to be. And look at where They're the holding. opposing Killjoy is. Look at Pora's position. These rotations left. are horrible. However, if Boaster kills these two, it's still game on. But it's going to be a tough task. Gets it in, gets the frag. Looks for more. Oh. He can't convert it, though. Niso still holds on to this. But look at Sage towards middle. That's going to buy time. Planted. Such a nuisance play from LOL. That is excellent positioning. Finds Domer as well. Looking to just cost any retake potential Planted away from Summon. Pora knows it too well. Information's relayed. And Mo, time to save. Well, I mean, with a judge. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you love that thing? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the one thing, you make a fantastic point about Pora, the fact that he's able to get so deep so quickly, obviously with the only defender remaining all the way in backside. I mean, he, Pora set up all his utility. 
in the defensive spawn. So he had that early information. He knows that they can push out and they can stack three or four people just to clear that one remaining member. Then, building on top of that, Lowell, the wall goes up. That's more time. More time the Heretics are able to buy and keep Summon FC away from that site. This. No ops coming out either for Heretics at all. Dome has got the first one too. That's a bit of a difference. We haven't seen that first pick going go. through and they're going to push the matter. Press the issue. Nice work. They've doubled down for the trades. LOL is so good for this. Constant pressure, constant nuisance. Heal comes back in, but he's getting damaged. Has to take the fight and loses it. We're finally getting a bit of a bite back from Summon. But Heretics, they're happy to fight this. The spike is left in the clutches. Where is Bora coming from, though? Let's have a little look as well towards his position. <laughs> Milky with a Ferrari peek around the corner. Oh, Heretics, this is just brutal to watch. But yeah, one more round for map one. We're going to have a little bit of an early play, and it looks like an all-in play as well towards B. It looks like someone's going to get this guy, maybe get it going towards map two. Jack is going to find Niso, but there's so many bodies here, so much utility. It's just a, a, a grinder. They're all going in and they're all dying for it. Rotations are coming around. The Jets on the flank. They are being cornered and they are being backhanded. This, I've not seen that invested just yet, but the attack is very, uh, I guess, characterized APs coming through. It's looking brawly for now. Niso still holds the ground. Going to peel away slightly, but Poor has found one. That's Mo gone and Niso now gets a clean fight. A 1v1, no trades. Where are the trades going? Heretics are running rampant here. Oh, Summon, you better have more up your sleeve than this because at the moment, Heretics look ready for this. Jack's now available, though. He's going to isolate Pora. Trade comes in from Niso, not allowing that kill to go unanswered. As now Mystic, a 1v3, surrounded, spotted, noted, tagged, dead. No the angles, but Avova gets a little bit of fire and he's like, you know what, I don't need to peek this. As Nuki's already found Mystic, where has he got that from? That was just a nice little angle he's been able to create for himself. And Nisao, very much up for the fight as well. We're seeing a defensive side opting to take the fight in middle, unafraid, but Doma does do the damage. Avova now being caught up does open up a chance towards the site. Looking towards B, there are two players here, almost three. The attacking side does have good ground though. Finally, things are falling into the place. Lol though, looks unfazed by the ultimate. He's just dodging it like it's easy. Niso, so if that's actually under the box, Niso will find one. Chat trades back on to Pora. Now the cloud burst holding off this line of sight. Actually, it dropped and Mo will fall as well. The showstopper pulled out now. Niso Spike's going. Try and convert They're something, off. but like you said, Spike's elsewhere. Nice work from Summon. This is a very good call. Every single player for Heretics was left towards B. So a really good shout from them. I do want to see maybe a good post bomb for Chak. I want to see him try and get involved. Maybe wrap around mid or something. I love to see some creativity, but that's bold. Well, this, is, this is the thing. They have such deep control now with, they, with the lack of presence from Heretics. Obviously, everything coming over to the B site. And that one spot that you saw Chak in has been the downfall for Summon FC so far on these A hits. Okay, let's watch this retake go down now. Spike is planted. And there's that mid look. That's what I wanted to see come out from Jack. I do worry that the timing might be a little dangerous, but he's going to cut it short and just kind of take his time, still saying, kind of staying around a supportive place for Boaster. Caution being shown, but Heretics, the time's ticking. You've got to get a move on now. They've got to find these fights and find them clean. Nothing being presented. Boaster boys are taking their time. They're playing patient, and they make their presence noted at just the right time. LOL knows this one's done for. Good answer from Summon. Good thing they have we have a lineup here from Jack early game as well. And then I saw Nuki again. You can see actually Summon pivoting onto that presence from the previous round. Boaster actually going to get caught off guard here. Doma swings wide, finds it as well. There's that trade out. Nuki is happy to offer himself up for these sort of fights. Mid is a huge gateway in this map, but we haven't seen Summon really running it that much. They have been way more site focused. But I like seeing this Viper lingering up towards those B halls, that B rotation. So they have information, free information too. Heretics could start looking towards A as a bit of a stack here. Doma now being noted. Yeah, this gives away the game, but the spike is pretty close to the site here. Well, the interesting thing is actually Niso now drifting back over. Mind. Lowell going to find that revive in mid, and that's going to give some information over to Summon of where two players are located. But keep your eye on Pora. He is tucked deep in this site here. Looks like they're going to clear it, but the wall goes up. Oh, my word. Pora actually able to survive on this one. Okay, Pora's still alive, but for how long? Plant comes in. You can see everyone looking this way. Going to be a little tricky. Is that the ultimate committed? It is, but potentially for both sides. Mo! Big swing from Mo. Niso goes down, gets himself out of danger as well. Backs away and keeps life in the pockets of Summon for now. 4v4, though, and the damage is there, but there we go. One player detained to none. Pora playing it right back in. That spike is still ticking. 
counter lockdown actually pushed heretics all the way out of this one so i love the response chat finds nuki doma finds Pora now trades back and forth and actually a bova gonna get to go and try and stick this he's holding it but there we go oh he finds mo he touches back on the spike as well he's looking for more players who would dare go in but time is ticking of over he's holding it down but mystic keeps it in check summon keeping the game he's tucked all the way down through Actually, Mystic all the way back in spawn going to find that one. So, Nuki may be getting a little overzealous there after that first blood. Yeah, that'll call in the Killjoy to now have to take up the position towards Boaster. mid. Lol gets found, not necessarily for free. Boaster does get around it. Avova's still here, but they know that Avova's been playing no this site. One. Good Hold shoulder on. peek to clear as you go. Boaster going to pop the ult to clear it out as well. This is very well played from Summon. Methodical on approach. Boaster now cresting the corner. Pora's has made presence noted. Boaster bangs out Avova and Heretic's down to two now. Oh, they're backing again. Again, yeah. But, I mean, uh, uh, this is actually textbook from Summon, drawing this rotation out. Time and time again, actually, left. Pora might catch one on the cross, but he actually misses both shots there, unfortunately, with the operator. A rare miss from this young man. Oh, Mystic actually creeping back over towards it. Pora going to find that one. Now maybe rethink his approach. Spike's still not gone down, so a lot of time here. Four heretics, not so much on the side of Summon FC. 11 seconds left on the clock here. Nito trying to find something to stop this spike from going down. They're both on the side, which is a problem. This opens up a chance. Boaster again. Boaster is refusing to lose at this point. We, I, I, I've got to say, when Angel was popping off for his side for FBX, he was leading from the front. He was doing late. Uh, the heretics are working yeah, with a lot less here, so keep that in mind. They have one rifle, and if this gets taken... Wait, so? wait, what? He gets three? Summon just walked into him. He was the only dangerous member of Heretics this round. One they had everything remaining. else. And with the ultimate still up for Nuki, they've done the dirty. Shaq is probably baffled, confused, frustrated. Oh, that is harsh to witness. Position in, just to kind of bait them to yep. not clear this corner. We'll see if Avova is oh, no. as clinical as expected. He has taken down Mo, but Doma, it's all on you. That's one, that's two, that's a spike down and a third now noted. Oh! Doma, three to start, the fourth evades, but he's done so much work. Yeah, I Is mean, it 2v2 still, though? I, I was just about to say, Heretic's finding kills elsewhere. Pora finally responding with that one, but Nuki getting into the back lines and causing all sorts of trouble for Summon. Let's have a look at these post plants now. Nuki and Pora, the two here. Look at those different angles. That elevation going to come into effect. All that utility being put down does draw out a, little, a bit of information that missed. Mystic got that kill. Hold on. Bora now having to do all of this. Looks for one. Has to back away. New angle. Where can he go with this? Trying to play the time just perfect, but now isolated. Forced away from what he wanted. Not on the spike just yet. Sees one season. Oh, the Mystic. So sharp in this. Wow. I mean, Nuki did fans. He stopped them peeling away, and he's now confirmed exactly what they're up to. Yeah, the problem being, though, both are coming back all the way 30 seconds into mid. Avova trying to find something through to site again. No kill coming through, but there you go. Mystic does open up the round finally with 23 seconds left on the clock. Mystic finds another. Niso will fall. Spike all the way over to the front of site now, but the kills are going in favor of Summon here. Yeah, lol, the last one alive. He can do some work. 13 seconds, though. How much does he have to do with this? 10, none. Mystic did everything for them then. And I love that. Again, Summon just holding again, Nuki back on his feet. I was just saying, the lockdown, especially over on B site, you can make it almost impossible if you can run the clock down to get this spike diffused in. So, very, very close. Four are going to get the spike down close by. But actually, some damage coming through the Radionite crate there, just next to default. And they will find it. Most actually finds that again, yeah. Yeah, straight spamming that spot. You cannot plant there. They are so prepared for this. 30 seconds now. Everyone's congregating on the site. Niso's oh. got to make a play happen. And look at those angles. This is not favorable at all. Niso is going to try and do it again. Nuki bails him out from one, but he needs more. They need some safety, some security. And Mo gives them none of that. Spam on the wall, up and over. But it's Boaster to do it. Lol now left in a 1v2. Gets the oh. wall. I need to take this fight you just yet. Run. 30 seconds left. It looks like, yeah, they're, they're going to commit to this one. Okay. Dome up. Going to stick around for this. He's got some help in. Niso's found Jack, though. That's not what they wanted. That was not meant to be how this goes. Dome now is surrounded. Niso Fire. is coming yeah. online, ladies and gents. That's two big picks on the site. And he actually destroyed the lockdown as well, so that's crucial. Plant comes in. 11 seconds left, but they will get it down now. Planted. The important thing to consider is actually Pora has his lockdown in response, should they need it. A 3v3 now. 
Revealing area. Most are going to put the recon die out, see if he gets any information off it, but he's tunneled into yellow right now. The slow warp going to buy a little bit of time, but it doesn't actually block all the way off. Yeah, but it forces him on the wide angle, and yeah. Nuki's going to be perfectly happy with taking that fight. No trade available yet. Mo found LOL, actually. Hello, lie. And now Mystic's going to come over here. We do see the ult being kind of played around with. Who's is that? It's oh. Mo's! Just swings across, leaving Pora in the 1v2. I, I wanted more from him. And we're going to need to see it now. They're on the spike. They're defusing right now. He gets the shot on one, but he tries to spray on the spike defuse. Time is of the essence, but they get it. Doma. You don't get to do this twice, surely not. But Mo's baiting him in again. If he gets away with this, this would be unbearable. This would be dillworthy. They check it, but it's too little, too late. Summoner holding on, but Niso again. What? This man will not relent. He will not bend. But a 3v2. No. It's not over yet. Yeah, again okay. on the site. They fumbled it. Jack has punished them. Oh. And this is surely Summon picking up map two here. Pora called upon to save the side. Mystic and Jack against him. Information dwindling now. Going to find a bit of information. Hora has pushed all the way down C long, so all this information is going to be going over to Heretics now. There you see the reaction. Okay, over. Let's see how much you can do with this. Does manage. Oh, actually, you know, gets put in the heels left. by it. Spike plant could be imminent. That's great work from Summon here. Now, if they get that spike down, it's game on. Wait, they had no investments this round, and the pistols just got them three kills. Spike to be planted any second now. Nice work. Barely seeing an enemy, still keeping this one in check. And now the last two alive for the attacking side. What? Doma? How the hell did you just do that? left. Spike, what is going on here? They need to get it back and get the plant down. Niso could push if he wants to, but he's playing the time. He's playing the angle. Perfectly timed. Plays the player. Doma dead, but excellent work from Summon. I've got to say it. Now they know, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. They are on the A site. Get over here. I need some help. Yes, it's late in the round. And wait, where's the spike? Where is the spike going to come from? They need to get the plant going right about now. Nice work from Chak to keep it safe. Spike is in just. That was so close as well with the paint shells coming over the top. But Lowell swings out here, finds Doma, but two kills in response from Heretics here. Boaster replies again. Lowell finds another here. One enemy remaining. Gotta hold on to this one right now. He's tucked behind default. It's 1v1 between Mystic and Lowell. He goes for the jumping classic, doesn't find anything. And this is even gonna find the kill. The third on the round, he's gonna put the revive out. This is huge. Nuki's now back with him. Did he spot him along? I don't think so. Jack needs to play this just perfect. Spike. Still One playing for him. Remaining. Nice position. Can't really do. Oh, that is dangerous, Jack. Falls away. Buys the time. Gets the kills. Gets some in the round. Huge red ball clutch there coming out of Jack. Fantastic work from him. P Raises now around, but Lol still waits. He did well from here before. Tries to oh, turn the flashes tucked. preemptively. He doesn't give away the game. He's still standing. Right. Lol just absolutely eviscerates. Summon, they did not check the corner, and Lowell is the absolute animal waiting. CMB presence. Yeah, let's see. Jack putting down a little bit of utility. Maybe Niso. I'm going to hear this. He's going to have the audio cue. Whether or not he relays this to his teammates and they act upon it. But Nuki and Pora have been so good for this mid control. Again, leaning away from window summon FC. So kind of giving this up, but. Again, you don't really gain an awful lot from these sight lines. You've got to push all the way out for it. But here we go. The stack towards Ceylon. One member pushing over towards Garage. Actually, the jump spot from Avova. And immediately the utility comes down. He clears out the Nano Swarm. So actually, he's going to be able to remain in this position. Oh, 30 for seconds now. left. Avova's trying to dodge everything. All that utility being thrown in. It is a two for one trade out so far. Favorable to summon, but they're not on the site just yet. Still working up C-Long, still have Nuki to deal with, who's tucked in the corner, crossfire holds, Avova gets contact. The swing works out though, Mystic and Mo both there, leaving Avova the 1v2. He's isolated another great work from Mystic to- Up now, they're gonna clean it. This is what you wanna see. Doubling up, systematically clearing corners. It's fine, it's a trade. Hopefully still gonna be able to get him, but actually elsewhere another trade comes through. Yeah, a little interesting to see that go down. Now the other three remaining for the attacking side are going towards where the rotations are coming in. They do have superior weaponry, though. Stop Keep that. that in mind. This should still be a safe plant with the smoke in play. But look at that quick you rotation around the back. And a res. Allies. They are really investing into this one now. Spike is planted, and you're going to see the ultimates coming through. That is going to be a jump down. Mystic can't make it away in time. Caught as he tried to TP Mo and Jack in the post plant. Now it's just Mo. He's got already so much pressure coming his way. He knows he's under so much scrutiny. All the utility is there. The defuse is going to come through. Avova's on it. He can't do anything. Heretic's picking up a half bolt round here. Really, really tough. I mean, Nuki getting that nade back online from that from someone. We saw this previously from them. 
Again, they invest the reach. Sorry, the raise and the breach over the utilities revealed, and actually it draws the rotation out of Heretics. Now the kills come back over. Spike goes down onto C, and Summoner able to set up. Yeah, Summoner in a much better post-plant position. Obviously, with much better weaponry. Mystic is tucked on the Zyke, though, of Overs there. Nuki, he's there so quick, they didn't expect it. The timing was bad. But let's look at Mo. Where is that? It's going to be coming from already here at being pop. There it is. He's going to be on the spike. Nuki finds Doma. But it's on Mo to keep this one safe. Was it too early? And now Nades come down. He's being locked out. The defuse comes in. He tried, he tried, and tried. Double door area. No one's there, so definitely could flex down a little and try and take 30 mid. seconds well, left. The big thing for Summon here, I'm seeing a lot of utility for Mo. I'm seeing both of the utilities still online and Mystic, so they have a lot of tools in their oh. arsenal. We're actually TSAC going to come all the way through. Needs to and what? respond. To, oh my, what's the trade oh. back and forth? This is so brutal, but it's just Nuki now in a 1v2. Boaster, you can see the adrenaline pumping oh. right now. Nuki, oh, he's got 11 HP, but he's got the time. Boast now. He's on the spike. He's holding it down. He's got it halfway. He's not getting off it. Nuki, you've got to beat timing. this. He gets it. So well played by Nuki. A valiant attempt. Boast are actually now looking Revealing some pressure Eddie. onto Graffiti. Recon Bolt comes through now. That's the go signal here for Summit. They do find the first one in. Actually, I'm pushing through quick enough. Not again. Attacked again not in again. this angle. How does he keep getting away with this, though? But now it's just Mystic. Where is he in this? On the side itself, Niso's playing this so calm, so patient. Nuki's going to take the first bit of contact. But Mystic's still alive. He's still trying to do something, but he's being kept at arm's length. There is no fun allowed here. Heretics want this done. 11. Oh, this is the roof. A little bit of a fake action. The utility from Killjoy can spot it out. Jack in a weird spot there. Where swings from garage, you're always going to lose that one. Yeah, and they're trying to pull towards the side. Mystic's the one holding. You can see the free fire on the right side. Ultimate's being popped. Doma's found low. Wait, they're still in this. Some of the desperate to hold on, but look at the scenario now. Heretics are tucked on the side. This is not a good post plan. There is still danger. Boaster and Mo with it all to do to save the side, at least in this map for now. Boaster finds yeah. one. He needs more. Why Second one wins it. Boaster Why is still fighting for his side. Nuki, the nade comes out. He'll buy him time. Nuki's pushing back in. Boaster, oh, Boaster. saves his team for one more round. Wow. What? But pistols no elsewhere for Harris. Hunter's Fury actually going to get invested here. Goes on. Niso going to find Jack. Seemingly what? free Mystic as well will no. fall. That's two free kills for Heretics onto C-Side. Like this. this is not how you lose it, surely. Boaster desperate to hold on, but taking so much flak. And now Heretics know they've got such an advantage. Boaster has just come around on the flank like an assassin in the night. A dagger to the back and summon her down to Mo. Position noted. Heretics have just turned all of those screws and made this one hurt. Spike the spike planted. now down. Mo has to go above and beyond for his side. Step by step, Heretics will work out where he is. Will it be poorer to get the first bit of vision? It is. Mo now knows he has to play into this. There's no two ways about it. And he can't get past the first step. Poor shown, but the retakes from Heretics have been on point. But on point is Doma. That's going to be one can't turn quick enough. Nuki on the trade. And now three stand for Heretics. Wait, they're on the spike. He's holding it. He's not letting go of it. No one's stopping him. It's going to be a wait. Don't get Mystic. Just stop him in time. Mystic oh, just got Mystic. the kill there. You are the absolute MVP once again. That was so close. But Lol fancies his chances. Would you dare go through this again? Heretics, they don't know how to get rid of this. Look they don't know what sight. to do. And Boast has just been waiting. Land he dies, remaining. but Mystic holds oh, on. Lol, he jumps on it, does Control, what I want to see Heretics do is try and pressure that position away. Weaken this post plant strength the summon have. But actually, Lol going to find two kills. Oh. He finds the third as well. He's got absolutely huge already. Mystic's still alive, though. We know what this post plant can do. They have to pressure him down now and they can't do it. He it looks like they're running out of options. Rez on Nuki comes in. Wait, they found Jack. Where is Mystic? The man's clutched before, but he's got to do it again. That's one. He can't get more. Oh dear, Heretics this time should be able to get it going, but this is going to be close again. I mean, it's just their ability to run the clock Wait. down this. No, no, he's got that. He's got okay. that. Now we are going to see that being pushed by all manner of ways. It does look like that hookah presence is uh, oh, for the so look at this. Pora, that is so smart. <laughs> Galaxy Brain! Pora just 200 oh. IQ them. He keeps going. <laughs> this One is brutal to watch and very well played from Pora. <gasps> reading the game incredibly well. Just right such here. a good read. And you know what? That's something that someone tried numerous times. The smoke down over tube, the cheeky little making moves. All of this information is going to feed heretics what they need.
Bose is going to give away positioning now. His position noted, but lol surrounded. He's got players behind him, in front of him. He's trying to do what he can, but now he leaves his buddy alone. A Bova all on his lonesome. It's going to be Nisau to try and bail Nisau cometh the hour, cometh the man. He stepped up to the plate and summon. Well, from summon, but a Bova with the trade eventually comes in. And now let's see what they've got to play with. Much utility left, I don't know. But lol's going to lead the way, jumps across, tries to join his buddy. This thing is res. Do it quick enough. You will not and they've gone for it. All right, they're committing to this. Niso now speeds up the pace. He's got to get moving, clears out. Chubi gets it. Nuki gets Doma. But we know this post plot is a problem. Oh, and he's on it. Look at this. Look at the angle he's on. You cannot stop it. Diffuse comes in and Heretics pull off the retake. And again, Heretics playing. That's the kind of thing I want to see them do with this wall. The double TP is going to get himself so deep of the site. What? Nuki is lucky to be alive, but Bosa's going to press the issue. That's one with the trade. Avova is there and make sure that doesn't go too badly wrong. But the intention was great. I love the wall, the timing. It was perfect. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful Cage to block trigger. off that TP from Bosa. And he finds the kill as well. Now it's spiked down. We have to see if this retake can work. Heretics have been pulling this off, but someone... They have good post plant positionings. Niso is on it though. Does get off for a second. Draws out that utility. Isolates Raze. Ooh. And there's no one there to yeah, trade it. There's the exactly. ultimate coming in. But we're going to see Viper once again trying to hold on. Jack is doing everything he can from the showers. And this looks like it's working out. That Viper in those post plants. It does so much work. So we're going to find the first. But Mo seals the deal. Absolutely love that. I mean, <laughs> tight control. Four up. We're going to see a lot of this coming now. They are on the site. We know that they can get that spike down. It's the post plants they've been struggling to maintain. That's a new element, though. That's it, yeah. Four up. Wow. <laughs> Taking a lot of chip damage over an elbow. Spike, spike will go down. Boaster falls, but still five bodies up for Look. heretics. Look at the damage really done. Came. Lowell's lower. Pora was lower. Avova was low. Now, they found one of them. Beniso trying to get a little bit of information back. And keep that player towards window. Humble Doma's good for one. They need a couple more, though. Nice, nice play from Doma. Beautiful. Keeping Summon with a bit of hope in this one. That is going to at least give them some wig. Destroy it. Give his position away. Jack, nothing really. Peeking his way, but Boaster finds a freebie onto Nuki as he walks out. Very nice. Be careful Boaster. here. Yeah, really good to hold that angle, actually. For Heretics, it felt like they were just kind of throwing it at the wall, see if it sticks, see if they can catch someone out. I don't even mind it. They have rounds to play with. It does play a dangerous game, but if they could have caught Boaster in you know, unawares, that would have been perfect. Jack is so unlucky to not be him. These, they are so close by. And they're still continuing for... Boaster. He's going to play through the smoke. He sees one. He needs more. He sprays it wildly. He gets three this round. And Mystic joins in. And Pora just has to watch as Boaster just battered his team. Absolutely destroyed him on the way in there. Or I will find one consolation. Well, say consolation. Never count this man out. <laughs> if you see it's Pora, you just <laughs> nah, boys. Sit in. Do not give him a 30 chance. 30 seconds left. I love that. Though. Again, Boaster gives up his position. They know he's playing close because of the... So that's about it. Everyone else on half or less. Mystic is going to be the one to probably take the first glimpse of this. Maybe Nuki. Is, uh, excuse me, Goma as well. Yeah, they're going to be going on this. It's most fun for to start with, actually, the elevated angle paying dividends here. Nuka does have a showstopper, and there you go, you hear it. But immediately, Mo shuts it down. Mo? Mo's good for the third now. Holding this push back from Heretics of Over. Did he hear Stuck that? into lamps, though. Ooh. Oh, if Ova's been noted now, you're not getting any free bits of work here. Lol is there with him, but damaged up only the ghost. Does have a little bit of utility to play with, but they ain't going to let this one happen. You lock this down all days of the week. There is a bit of spray in of over. Baited in. Mo with the ace. Perfect way to close down. Fantastic. They've lost a little bit of map territory they'd probably like to keep. They could get wrapped on, so Boast is going to be super careful. And now he's getting super low. Of over a quick trade on it as well. Mystic now feeling smothered. And he is. Hold on. This isn't the round you're meant to be winning. Doma doesn't agree either. He wants to keep this favorable, but he can't. Spike planted. 2v3 with these two again in a post plant. Mo and Doma called upon from the summon side. Mo's now low, oh, but they've done it again. No, surely. Lol. Wait. He's going around time. It's everything. He gets one. And now the 1v1. Mo is so low in this scenario. And lol. The guy's a veteran. Years of experience. The plants for him. The frags for him. Jack, and that's the only damage done to Boaster. So Jack able to stay here. 
I'm going to invest some utility to clear him out, but they can't get any damage onto Jack. Yeah, but they've drawn out some of his utility, but that is a great bit of work from Boaster. Going to slow down the roll. Heretics finding no one just yet. Jack is staying alive back in the tube. Mystic is helping out the wall. It's a little late and lol dies for it. A poor last man alive. A 1v4 in front of him. This is resilience from Summon. They are digging so deep again. <sighs> the hold. The hold from Jack, again, just relaying all that information. And someone, in, you know, they banked a lot on the fact that Heretics were actually going to hit 30 there. seconds left. It looked like for a second Lowell was able to close the distance, get close enough to the tube to convert that kill. But, again, just the trading back and forth of utility just holds them at bay. The thing for Heretics is we, we haven't had to ask this question in a while because they've had the lead, but now it's subsided. What do they need to do to stop this turnaround? Ten because the problem left. is, I feel, is that someone's going to get so much confidence building now. Now Pora posted up, waiting. Spike, Spike now planted. Heretics, would they rip this away from them? Those final moments. And Pora, he's coming in. He's getting pressured down. The spam, everything's being thrown at him. He it's takes a flank. swing. He's buying time. There is no flank. It is only these two angles. Boaster, can you bail him out again? No, Nookie denies it. Pora holds oh, strong laws there. And now it's just Doma. And Doma is dead. It's 12 for Heretics. Wow. Again, I thought... Looking to clear through showers, and it's going to be the ultimate towards Lamps. Mo now waiting, biding his time, trying to live between the utility. 30 seconds left. He's going back in towards this. The timing's everything. Mo could stop it before it starts, but he can't. Avova's there, and the plant comes in. Finally, we see an A hit come out. Back Doma, planted. where are you in this? Still holding map territory. A tag is all he's going to get. And now Heretics... They've got the time in their favor. They've does, got a body up as well. Does the wall become a factor here in the retake? Boaster now looking to aggress onto Lamps. The Molly's down, oh buying no. so much slime. Nuki finds Doma. Heretics draw first blood on the retake. It's just three alive. That's all that stands between summon and defeat. And victory for Heretics. Oh, Jack and Boaster in combination. Oh, no. oh Niso turns it around. It's all on Mystic. A 1v3.